Are you sure you want to do this? Looks like I have some homework to do. Watching movies is a great hobby, but in today's cinematic universe, you need to stay sharp. Sharper than a xenomorph's inner jaw. Thanks to studios like Marvel, modern writers are packing their movies with more Easter eggs, callbacks, and references than a Xeno Queen has eggs. If you want the full entertainment experience, you've got to be on your A game. With my first assignment complete, it's time to drop into the heart of the hive with number two on my list, 1986's Aliens. I was late to the Alien franchise party, only joining the bug hunt about four years ago. But let me tell you, Aliens raises the stakes like Hudson on a bad day. This sequel does what every great follow-up should. It doesn't just build on the original, it takes the fight to the next level. It's original in plot and presentation. When you watch it in 2024, you'll see how many movies have borrowed from its playbook. James Cameron's fingerprints are all over this film. He builds tension like Bishop assembling a dropship, keeping you on the edge until the first Xeno makes its lethal appearance. Alien squeezes every drop of value out of its $18 million budget. Adjusted for inflation, that'd be about $40 million today. For comparison, Alien Covenant had a reported budget of $100 million, yet the set design, practical effects, and gritty cinematography of Aliens are still the stuff of legends. Let's talk about the cast and the performances. Sigourney Weaver as Ripley, absolute queen. She's got more guts than a facehugger's dinner. Ripley is both vulnerable and strong, embodying that perfect mix of fear and fury. The Colonial Marines, they bring a whole new flavor that the first film didn't have, with unforgettable lines like, game over, man, game over. These Marines are the squad goals of every 80s action flick. And Bishop, let's just say, he'll have you questioning your trust in androids all over again. What is brilliant is despite the injection of humor, because let's face it, Hudson is comedy gold, the aliens still feel like a lethal threat. The only thing that didn't quite hit the mark for me was the addition of a kid. Not my favorite sequel trope, but hey, Cameron likes to mix up some newt life into his sequels. Aliens is a treasure trove of unforgettable moments. From Sergeant Epone putting a cigar in his mouth right after cryo sleep, talk about priorities, to Ripley's epic mech suit showdown with the Queen, this movie delivers. My favorite moment has to be Ripley waking up from that chest-splitting nightmare. A nightmare we all experienced after our first viewing of Alien. The best quote from the film? Well... <laughs> Any scene with Bill Paxton in it is absolute gold. But my favorite line of his has to be, we're on an express elevator to hell. Going down. Oh, Hudson, you said it all. The Alien franchise is a rare breed, with two of its films earning a spot on the Mount Rushmore of their respective genres. 1979's Alien is a goat of horror movies, while 1986's Aliens redefined sci-fi action. The debate between these two films is always a fun one. Hardcore horror fans often shudder at the 80s action and humor Cameron injected into the sequel. While those who saw Aliens first might wonder why the original moves at such a slow atmospheric pace. But one thing's for sure, both films are timeless classics. Just like the first, Aliens is a 5 out of 5 in my book. If you haven't seen it yet, what are you waiting for? Get on that express elevator and hit play.